Hey guys, welcome back to Slide Hunt with the video tutorial on data structure. In our previous tutorial, we learned what are binary search trees. And now in this tutorial, we will implement binary search trees or we will write some codes for binary search trees. Here we will learn how to write code to insert a node in binary search tree and how to search an element in binary search tree. So let's get started. As we know, a binary tree is said to be binary such tree if the values of all the nodes of the left subtree is less than or equal to the root node and the values of all the nodes in the right subtree is greater than the root node. This is a binary such tree. Now the question is how to represent binary such tree in computer memory. The most common and useful way to represent a binary search tree in computer memory is linked list. Each node has three fields, one data field and two link fields. One holds the address of left child and another holds the address of right child. So first I'm gonna define the node. The elements of node contain different data types so it will be a structure struct vst int data two pointers will be of type vst struct vst star left and then struct vst star right in link list if we know the address of head node then we can access all the other nodes using links Similarly, in binary search tree, if we know the address of root node, then we can visit or access any node of the binary search tree. To hold the address of root node, we need a pointer to VST. So I'm gonna write here start VST star root. Initially, we consider the tree is empty. So I'm gonna assign root equal to null. One thing I must say here, whenever we will use VST in this program, we must use struct keyword with it. To avoid this, I'm gonna use here type def. Type def struct VST node. Now we can use node instead of struct VST. Node is the new name of struct VST. So I'm gonna use here node instead of struct VST. If you want to know what is type def and how it works, please check my video description. Okay, next I'm gonna declare two variables int n and char ch. Next I'm gonna ask user to enter a number. Printf, please enter a number. To read the input number, we will use here scanf function scan f person d and m person n next we insert a node to the tree for that we call the insert function root equal to insert here we will pass the address of root node and the data to be inserted as arguments root and n if you want to insert more nodes then you need to execute this function again for that we use here a do while loop. Do starting braces and here closing braces. Inside the loop I'm gonna write print a. Do you want to insert more? Yes or no? Next I'm gonna use here get e function to read the character entered by user and we store that value to the variable sage. So I'm gonna write here ch equal to get che. Next I'm gonna write here the while condition. While ch equal to equal to y or ch not equal to n. If you press any character other than n, this loop will execute again. But if you press n, the loop will terminate. Okay, next we will write the insert function. This function will return the address of the node 
so its written type will be node star. Before insert a node, we need to create that node. So first we write the create function, then we write the insert function. This function create node takes an integer number as argument and returns the address of the newly created node. Here we create the node in the heap section or in dynamic memory using malloc function. To hold the address of the newly created node, I'm gonna declare here a pointer to node. Node star new node. Next we allocate memory using malloc function. If you want to know what is malloc function and how to allocate memory dynamically, please check my video description. Using this pointer new node, we can access any field of the newly created node. New node arrow data equal to n. Next, I'm gonna set new node arrow left and new node arrow right equal to null. Then we return the address of the new node. After executing this function, a new node will be created something like this. Middle field contains some data and left and right fields are null. Ok, node is created. Now we insert the node. First we check root is equal to null or not. Root equal to equal to null. If root is null, then we set root equal to newly created node root equal to create node n. If root is not null, then we have basically two cases. If the data to be inserted is less than or equal to root, then we insert it as left child of root and if the data to be inserted is greater than the root, we insert it as right child of root. So I'm gonna write here else if n less equal to root data. If n is less than or equal to data in root, then we insert n as the left child of root. So I'm gonna write here root left equal to insert. And here we first two arguments, address of the left child of the root and the data to be inserted. Root left and n. Here we call the insert function recursively and pass the address of the left child of root and n. Else we insert n as the right child of root. And finally we return the address of the root. Return root. Insertion function is completed. Let's back to the main function. Now we learn how to search an element. Here I'm gonna declare an integer type variable int number. Next, I'm gonna ask user to enter a number to be searched. Print tab, enter a number to be searched. Then scan if, person d, and person number. Next, I'm gonna call the search function. And here we pass root address and the number to be searched as arguments. Root and then number. Let's define the search function. This function will return an integer value. So I'm gonna write here int search and it takes two arguments node star root and int number. First I'm gonna check if root equal to null. If root is null means there is no element in the tree and the search is unsuccessful. So we return 0. But if the root is not null, then we check number equal to root data. Else if number equal to equal to root arrow data. If the number that we are looking for is equal to the data in root, then search is successful and we return 1. Else we have two cases either the data that we are looking for is less than or equal to the root or the data that we are looking for is greater than the root. If the data that we are looking for is less than or equal to the root, we search the left safety of the root. So I'm gonna write here else if 
number less equal to root data then return here we call the search function and here we pass the address of the left child and the number to be search else return search address of right child and the number to be search search function is completed let's back to the main function here I'm gonna check if search equal to equal to 1 if such function return 1 then we print item found and such successful print if item found and such successful else print if item not found and such unsuccessful let's run it compile and run I do some mistake here I have to declare an initialize root at the beginning of the main function so I'm gonna cut it and paste here let's run it again this time it gives no error please enter a number I'm gonna enter 5 do you want to insert more? Yes. I'm gonna enter 9. Yes. I'm gonna enter 2. Do you want to insert more? No. Enter a number to be search. I'm gonna enter 9. And it shows you item found and search successful. Let's run it again. Please enter a number. I'm gonna enter 70 do you want to insert more yes I'm gonna enter 34 yes I'm gonna enter 12 do you want to insert more no enter a number to be search I'm gonna enter 10 and it shows you item not found and such unsuccessful this is it hope you understand if you like this video please say it and click on the like button on youtube i'll be back with another tutorial till then you take care and keep watching